All right, I'm uh, done mixing. And I will now use this uh, solution here. Again, it's some sort of uh, gasoline. And I very thinly will brush this over this area here. Over the silicone ma mainly, so it um, does not bond and stick with the second layer of silicone. This stuff really stinks. I'm not sure it's too healthy, so you might want to have some sort of gas mask on. This is really sick. All right, and here we go. And again, pouring it from the side in as thin a uh, stream as possible. Okay, missed it a little bit. But you can actually see how it now flows over the item, over the part. Uh, and also into all of the little uh, nooks and crannies. I want to make sure that we're going to place this on the airbrush compressor and really give it a good shake. Or again, you can use other uh, methods. Some people use cell phones <laughs> that they put underneath and then they call them so they vibrate. I don't know if that's the best idea, but you can do it. I, I made way too much of this stuff now, so that was not good. All right, airbrush time. And again, I'm just going to pop some bubbles. I will not bore you with this. All right, the uh, silicone is cured. Oh, cured really well. And um, we're just going to open the whole thing now. Let's take this apart. Take that apart. Gonna get the flash lines a little bit. You can be a little more concerned about this or not. They don't really hurt, just aesthetics, I guess. That's some of the clay left over. And now this should actually separate pretty easily because I put the. Uh, oh, hold on. I got something in the viewfinder. Why? Okay, here we go. Um, so this should actually come apart pretty easily because I have the separating. Uh, solution between it. So I'm just going to open it right here. Uh, it's already coming apart. Alright, and this side looks perfect. I see how smooth this is. It's really nice. Got a little of the clay there, but that's perfect. That's, uh, that's actually a little bubble, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to see this side anyways, as this is the back side of the, of the product. And then we're going to take this out. And the front looks good too. Look at that. All right. So I will try to actually get an original part of this, um, but at least you've seen now how we create a mold. And I will also show you how to cast the resin. Unfortunately, I just realized I have no resin here, um, so I'll show this to you tomorrow. Okay. So this will be it for the time for the time being. We actually can see here the little the little nubs. They have all like air holes in them. They were a little tight, maybe you want to use like a little thicker brush end to push it in. But it's still going to be enough to actually cast these sides and then really have them yeah, be a perfect match. Actually not being very clean with the surface, you see it's kind of like undulated right now. This helps us as well because it kind of fits this together really nicely. Um, so if you're too clean, actually this might be a problem. But this looks very nice. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this up with a little water and uh, then we're good to go. Okay, part two tomorrow.